genre, folktale. How the beetle got her colors, based on a traditional tale from Brazil, by Joseph Bruchak, illustrated by Mercedes McDonald. Folk tales teach us useful lessons and share wisdom with us. They explain things about the natural world. This folk tale tells how beetles got such bright colors. The story comes from the rainforest of Brazil. That is the setting of this play. Many different plants and animals make their home in the rainforest. Some of those animals are the characters in this play. Characters, narrator, a human storyteller, beetle, a gray colored insect, arrow frog, a very brightly colored frog, agouti, a rodent animal with glossy brown fur, jaguar, a black and gold spotted animal, parrot, a bird with feathers of red, and blue and gold. Anaconda, a big snake with patterns on his back. Narrator, long ago, Beetle did not look the way she does today. Agouti made fun of her. Agouti, Beetle, you are not beautiful like me. I have lovely brown fur. It shines in the light. You are just plain gray, Beetle. I don't mind being gray, Agouti. Ha! You are the plainest animal in the forest. You do not have beautiful gold and black spots like Jaguar. Jaguar. That's true. I do have beautiful black and gold spots, Agouti. You don't have shiny designs on your skin like Arrow Frog. Arrow frog. That is true. I do have shiny designs on my skin. Agouti. You do not have interesting shapes on your body like anaconda. Anaconda. Yes, the shapes on my body are very interesting. Would you like to come closer and look at them, parrot? Parrot. No, thank you. I will stay up here in the tree. Agouti. You do not have feathers of red and blue and gold and green like parrot. Parrot. That's true, but it's not nice to boast about being better than someone else. Stop teasing poor Beetle. Beetle. I do not like being teased. It makes me sad. Agouti. We are all good looking and you are plain. I can see why you hide in the bushes all day. You may be gray, but I bet you feel blue. Narrator. Agouti kept teasing poor little beetle. Agouti boasted about how good looking he was. Parrot did not like Agouti's teasing. She got tired of hearing a goody boast. Finally, from the top of the tree, Parrot gave a loud holler. Parrot, hey, hey, hold your tongue, a goody. All you animals, listen. I propose a race between Beetle and a goody. A goody, will there be a prize for the winner? Parrot, I will give a beautiful new coat of any color to the winner. Beetle, even though I am happy being gray, a pretty new coat would be nice. A goody, ha, I'll win this race. I have four fast, strong legs. Beetle, all you do is creep along on your six little skinny ones. You will be far behind when I dash across the finish line. Beetle, I may surprise you. A goody, ha, I do not think so. Parrot, beetle and a goody, are you ready? A goody, I am ready. You will all see how fast I am. Beetle, I am ready too. I will try my best. Parrot, then let the race begin.
Go, Arrow Frog. A goody is really fast. Look at him go, Jaguar. Beetle is hardly moving. A goody is far ahead of her. Anaconda. Yes, but what is Beetle doing now? What are those things on Beetle's back? Parrot. Just watch and see. Arrow Frog. Wow! Look at that, Jaguar. I have never seen anything like that before. Anaconda. Yes, that is amazing. Agouti. I'm so fast that I left that silly little beetle far behind. What color shall I have Parrot paint me? Red, green, blue. How about red? And blue with green spots. I will choose plenty of colors. I will look so beautiful. Ah, there is the finish line. Arrow Frog, Agouti, where were you? Jaguar, Beetle got here long ago. Anaconda, Beetle was very fast. You should have seen her. Parrot, Beetle won the race. She has achieved victory, Agouti. You won? How did you get here so fast, Beetle? I flew. See my wings, Agouti. I did not know you could fly, Parrot. You should never judge anyone by the way they look. Even a plain little creature may have some hidden power. Narrator. Agouti was so ashamed that he crawled off and hid while Beetle got her colors. She chose to be as green as the forest trees, and as gold as the bright sun in the sky, and that is how she looks to this day. Beetle, I am beautiful. Narrator, a story such as this is fun to hear, but it also teaches us a useful lesson. The tale of Agouti and Beetle shows us the wisdom of not making fun of others. About the author and illustrator, Joseph Bruchok started writing in the second grade. He wrote poems for his teacher. He also loved reading stories about animals, like the ones in. How the beetle got her colors. Joseph has written over seventy books for children and adults. Many of the stories he tells are from Native American cultures. Mercedes McDonald has always loved to paint. By the age of three, she knew she was an artist. Mercedes says, "My art is inspired by my cats, my dog." And the beautiful animals I see in nature every day. Author's purpose. This play has some lines in italics. They are called stage directions. Stage directions tell about the actions of the characters. Why do you think Joseph included stage directions in this play? <laughs> 